Hey, Doc, today I am going to challenge myself to become a robot. <laughs> Basically, I am going to paint an AI photo on an AI. So we've shaped the tip of it, just made it shorter and obviously a stiletto. Somebody was asking about your acetone trick. Isn't that dangerous? Ah, why is it dangerous? I think for, you know, like allergies and all that kind of stuff. But No, it's actually get... better. Acetone evaporates like that. Some people are allergic to the methacrylates that are in glue. So if they are allergic to it, then using the acetone trick will actually help them. So if you look on the tip, there are like little ears or wings. So these very sides are the most important bit to blend. Not so much the middle because the middle's going to have more acrylic on there. But if you don't blend these sides and then you put acrylic on top of that, it's going to go even wider. So, once you've done that, blend it in, we've wiped over with cleanup solution, then we're going to use the primer, just on the natural nail, we're going to use burlesque darling, acrylic, I will top this up, I need my gloves on, one, two, three, bead on, I'm just going to concentrate on this part. We're going to blend, 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 blend. Notice we're tipping the finger down so the product runs down the nail. It's going to give you a helping hand. The only time that gravity is going to give you a helping hand is <laughs> at that point. Because life, let me tell you, gravity is not kind to you. <laughs> it's not kind at all. It pulls the breast tissue down, it pulls everything down, it's just not good. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> the bottom, the buttocks, everything gets dragged out, the face. Yeah, the, the face. The face, yeah. gravity just pulls the face yeah. down. I think it's so forceful, it's naughty. Second bead at the cuticle area. We're not flooding the cuticle, we're tipping the finger down, and again, gravity's been kind to us. And I can lift it now because I don't want it to come down anymore. Did you see that Macaulay Culkin's had a, um, a Hollywood star? Yeah. It's too long enough, that had to yeah. really. That's yeah. like, you know, he's not done a film for God knows how long. Yeah, but don't they normally get them like when they're sort of like old? He's not exactly... Is that a thing? Do you have to be old to have a Hollywood I star? I thought it was something that you've got. Like, is it, it's like sort of a bit of a lifetime Achievement thing. Yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it really? Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 100% certain, but like most people get them... Some get them posthumously. I mean, how, they get them what? Posthumously. What's when that mean? When they're dead. When they're dead. Oh. I didn't know what that word meant. <laughs> Every day is his a home alone day. mum was there, wasn't she? His home alone mum was there, yeah. was she? Yeah, she um was she did a talk. She was talking. Oh I didn't yeah. I just saw a flash of it on yeah. Instagram or he something. He looks better than he did. He's got kids now, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he uh, How old are they now? Forty-three, I think, is he something like oh. that? Surely he's got to be older than that, because I feel like when I watched it. I'm sure he's... I was younger. Yeah, I was, I was a baby when Home Alone came out. Yeah, I think so. I think I only watched it when I was older. This is how you get a, a Hollywood star? Yeah, step okay. one, be famous. Okay, technically oh, yeah. anybody can apply for a star. There you go. Yeah. Film, TV, radio, theatre, live performance. They're the sort of categories. Going live on YouTube, is that classed as live performance? <laughs> well, it's live. Yeah. Um, applications are considered by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and once a year they decide who's going to be in next year. You need to be uh, being really good at your job for at least five years to be considered. Step two, prove you want one. I want one! Give me one! Do you have to write a statement to put in there? Get chatty. I was going to say, yeah. 
Okay, I, I, yeah, I do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bring some famous friends. Bring famous friends. Yeah, so on the un- unveiling ceremony, Tim Robbins, who gave Jack his very first film, was there to support his old friend, while Mike White, who starred alongside Jack, this is Jack Black. Right, okay. Um, and as Ned Schneebly, the school rock gave a speech to. So you've got to bring people to the unveiling ceremony. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that one. Mm. Step four. Yeah. Pay for it. You have to pay for it? You have to pay a sponsorship fee of $30,000. that. No chance. I've not got that much money. <laughs> I don't Half want of one. the money is used to create the star, which is made out of brass. So you buy your own star? Yep. Um, so, all right, so there's four steps. I thought it was five. Well, it's just four steps, that's it. So you pay 30 grand for it, it's made out of bronze? Yeah. For 30 grand? 30 grand. Yeah. Listen, I've got one at home. Got one in hand, I've got I have got one. Have you? I've got a fake one at home. It's not made out of bronze. It's made out of um, plastic. Well, that'd be fine. <laughs> I mean, doesn't the governor of California, like, Yeah. just get some money from the government and yeah. just... Well, you'd think so, because you know what I mean? the tourists that people go and look at these things. I but know. I've been, been. Pl- I've been there plenty of times. Have you? Yeah. Not been that way. C, 50th, mm. Vegas LA trip. My mum and dad went to LA and Vegas. Yeah. But I did. There you are. That's what you need to do for your 50th. Mm. So once we pinch that, we give it a little bit of a pinch, it's super sharp. We can begin to shape side walls first and then we're going to whip around this cuticle area. This area here, it's so important if it's not sealed, if you have a lip, then that lip, well, it's just going to keep chatting. And when I say that, you have like what we call a chatty Cathy. So a chatty Cathy is a nail that has had a big lip here and it's come away from the natural nail and it starts kicking up. So it was down here and then it starts kicking up and it's lifted and come away and it starts doing that like a mouth and it's called a chatty cathy. <laughs> so no lips. If there's no lips, there's no chatty cathies. Apologies to all the cathies out there. So yeah, that cuticle area is important to get sealed. Crisp. Like it's just growing from that cuticle area. I think a little bit of length needs to come off it. Because if we have a look at this one, I've definitely gone too long on this one. Oh, look up here. Look. <laughs> a little bit. So I'm going to go side to side to take off a little bit. Keep that point in the middle. And then we can reevaluate it, go up the side walls. And then we can straighten them out. And then we can contour. So we're going to do these sides They're quite flat. And then we can do straight down the middle. Have a look at the side profile of the nail. You've got to look at all the angles. Not only just this plan view like this, you want to make sure that you're looking at the side view of the nail as well. Not just like this, and also looking down the barrel of the nail, if I can get this. Yeah. So you're going to look down the barrel like that as well. Nicey curve, nice, sexy. Sexy curves. Now be careful you don't take somebody's eye out with this. <laughs> <laughs> or your own. Well, yeah. Damien's well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna come in to me tomorrow and go, yeah, I've just got Damien's eye on <laughs> yeah. the end of my nail. Yeah, but like when you said you were, um, you'll have somebody's eye out when your mum used to say, be careful with that stick. 
Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, has anybody ever seen an eye on a stick? No. Nobody's ever seen no. one, I bet you. No. But every, I bet every Stop month. fighting. Someone's going to break, break, going to break the neck. Yeah, break your neck. Break yeah. your neck, yeah. yeah. Get up, get off that chair, you're going to break your neck. Yeah. Get off that table, you're going to break your neck. Yeah. I bet there's not many people, is there? No. Nope. <laughs>